closer about, together than most people park. Yeah, 200 miles an hour with somebody pushing. Trouble turn oh, three. Big wreck. Brian Kozlowski, David Rudiman, Michael, Michael Waltrip, Matt Kenseth, big and wreck. half the field. I see about three of the Hendrick cars there that's Mark, involved. Mark Martin is there. I see him. There's a Biffle. Jimmy Johnson's laying over there. There's a 24 car. Looks pretty bad. Brian Vickers limping around. And Mark Martin is part of it. It's Greg Biffle got a piece of it. Joe Nemechek's right front all turn up, torn up. The nine of Marcus Ambrose. Let's see if we can figure out what happened here, Larry. Uh, they're running awfully close together. Watch the uh, top right of your screen coming right up in. up here. Michael, Michael into his teammate, got, Rudiman. Got Rudiman loose. Right in front of Keselowski. Here comes Nemechek. Pow into uh, Michael. Look at, no, nope, didn't make it. Didn't make it. Brian Keselowski uh, we just talked about was involved. That white car up against the wall there. Here's Mark Martin down here, Jimmy Johnson, Jeff Gordon. My, my, my. Let's see if we can see anything. Well, there's not a whole lot to see. Michael just got into the back of the. Tony Stewart did the same thing to Michael in the Bud shootout. Got into him pretty hard and turned him around right there and got Michael with it. And Daryl, everybody was going to the apron, but those cars sliding off 31 degrees of banking, that's where they're going to end up. It's kind of an old, old saying down here, what goes down must come up. And uh, you try to go around on the outside if you can. Jimmy Johnson's 48 just barely got into the back of Matt Kenseth to do enough damage to the right front. The old Aaron Stream machine, she's done. Marcus Ambrose is going to the garage for repair. Michael Waltrip's car comes steaming toward the garage. Brian Vickers in the 83 car gets a lot of damage. Marcus Ambrose in the nine. Look at that, 300 cars, 24, 48, and five, all slamming into each other. Back it down, back it down, back it down. Come on. Get back up, get back up. Nine car to spawn us, stage three. The door. Uh. And Jeff Gordon's view. Check it up, check up, check up, check up, check up. Good. Uh. Oh. Dick Bergeron is with David Rudiman. Well, whose fault was that? Uh, I, you know, I don't know. It's uh, it's just it's a it's a product of this kind of racing. You know, it's uh, uh, you know, Mike was pushing me, and uh, I'm, I I don't think I'm when I anticipated the guys moving up in, in front of us as quick as I did, and it's not Mike's fault. Um, I just probably didn't get on the radio quick enough to to give him a heads up. He's doing what he's supposed to do. He's pushing. That's all you can do when you're behind, and and, and you can't see. You got to rely on a guy in front of you to help you. And and I was probably a little slow on the uh, slow on the draw there, uh, letting him giving him the heads up what was going on in front of us, and. Uh, here we are. Crew going to be able to get this back out on the racetrack, David? Uh, it'll be a miracle. Okay, miracles sometimes happen in the Daytona 500. Jeff Gordon is in the garage. Three of the four Rick Hendrick cars, all but Dale Jr., have gone to the garage. Two of the three Michael Waltrip cars involved. Defending series champ Jimmy Johnson in the garage as well. Greg Biffle has also gone to the garage. You can make light repairs on pit road 
but if major work is needed, the cars have to go behind the wall or back to their garage stall. And Daryl and M talked about it in the pre-race. This new point system, it's going to take longer to overcome a bad finish, I think, than it did with the old system. And don't forget, you got to be able to run a minimum speed, so you got to have the car in pretty good shape to run minimum speed. A grinding crash puts us under caution for the fourth time in Daytona. 